how to send automated email attachments in monday.com. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an email notifications or any type of uh, notification in the uh, board or the workspace of the Monday uh, work management platform into uh, a file uh, distributing a notification or email. So it is going to be very simple and easy. We are going to head over monday.com, sign in into our account, and then we are going to face up the dashboard. Once you are here, you will need at least a workspace. So we need a workspace to have the specific files integrated, or you can go ahead and have wherever you want. For example, if you have here, uh, as you can see here, a board, a document, a form, a folder, a dashboard, whatever. So the most important thing is to have a project at least. So this is not a project, but it is going to be a board and the board is going to be a part of a project. So in my board, as you can see, I have some tasks and also some grouping of the tasks. We have to do tasks and we have the completed tasks. These are going to be the uh, columns that are going to be having the information about the task, maybe the signees, the status of the task, due dates, the priorities, and some notes. Maybe you are going to have them for the freelancers or for the team and the budget, for example, for it and etc. So here we need to have something added into the columns that we have on the tasks. So as you can see, this is the main table or the table. It is going to be uh, the view of the table. If you do not have a view of a table, you can go ahead and click on the plus button in here on the header. Maybe you are going not to see these uh, right there, um, charts or views, but you can go ahead and add a table and the table is going to be the same. So as you can see, the main table is going to be the same as this. I'm going to delete the standard view and I'm not going to duplicate it, but here, as you can see, we have the, um, let's say, um, the columns that are we are supposed to um, take a look at. So, as you can see, this is a file uh, content or a file column. I'm going to delete it. So, we are going to restart the uh, process from the beginning. Now, we need at any project a specific column. This column is going to contain a file format. So, this file format is going to be distributed with the emails or sent within the notifications. So click on add columns and then we're going to have the essential, super useful and etc. I'm going to head over the super useful category of the columns and add files. So in here, you're going to have the priority to add the uh, file or manage them. For example, I'm going to have a file. So we are going to add it from our computer. So I'm going to add this image or this logo. As you can see, it is going to be an uploaded file. I have uh, set it up so I can go ahead and view it right there. So this is going to be the case or any type of file. The essential thing in here is to have at least a file. So you can go ahead and see that we can add as many files as we want. So you can go ahead and not uh, satisfy yourself by having only one file, but multiple files per column. So I'm going to arrange the due date for this specific project or extend it to the uh, April, uh, let's say here, another date. So we are going to have it like that. So this is not an accomplished done on time. So you can go ahead and refresh that. It doesn't matter a lot. So at least we have here a file. And we're going to have a trigger set up for this. So I'm going to change the status. I'm working on so this is going to liberate or free the due date so maybe we're going to have uh, for example not started this is not started so it is going to be the trigger or the status of working on it is going to be triggered you can go ahead and set up a trigger for for example the assignee or the team member or the person in charge of that task the due date the priority or something so we're not going to have here an uh, unlimited number of uh, triggers, but they are going to be okay. And also at least we have here a file. Now, what are we going to do is to click on automate or create an automation. After that, we are going to add an automation. When this happened or the trigger is going to be, for example, this is status, as you can read, changes to something. Column changes to something. Date drives and etc. 
So I'm going to base myself on the status. Click on status. When the status of, for example, here we have here the column of priority or status, I'm going to choose status. Changes to something like working on it. I am going to have an action which is going to be specified to. Here we have the option of notify and also we have email. So we are going to scroll down a little bit until we are going to have email. So we are going to have email and we are going to see the featured email or Gmail send email. You need to at least connect your uh, Gmail address or your Gmail account. Uh, as you can see, send it an email to someone. We are going to have the email, type in your subject and type in your email. And here is going to be the magic. So we are going to start first by adding the type of the subject. We have inserted or you have, have a file inserted. Or for example, I'm not going to have a file. You have a, uh, for example, a task assigned for you. And we are going to have maybe here a task or a new task assigned for you or to you, for example, to you, like that. Uh, the email, we are going to type in the email. So we are going to have the item name or the task name. We're going to choose also the board. Maybe uh, we are going to have is a, uh, let's say here, task that need attention. For example, attention, uh, attention, I think like this. And we're going to have the uh, status. And finally, we're going to add the files. Click on files. And this is it. So it is going to integrate the file. And we are going to have to someone, this is the email, so it is created already. We are going to have this another message. Please uh, make the task as soon as possible. Possible like that. And here we have the file, as you can read, it is going to be attached as as long as you have the uh, column inserted to someone, we are going to have the email. So it is going to in, uh, here include the, uh, not the notes, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to have the note, but the, uh, let's say the people. So we are going to uh, design or assign this uh, email to, or send it to the assignee. So it, which is going to be found in here. So normally you are going to have the people, which is going to be called assignee. So we are going to create this automation and we are going to have it right there. So I'm going to try it out. So email to notes. I'm going to deactivate these. So I'm going to have only this one. So as you can see, working on it, I'm going to do here uh, the uh, specific automation. This is the file. I am going to change the status. So make sure at least that we have the uh, personnel or the assignee. I'm going to change it on working on or working on it. And the automation is going to be running. So we're going to head over our email. So as you can see, this is the email from monday.com. This is the uh, notification as you can see. And this is uh, going to be the email. So task two is a task that you need to uh, your attention working on, for example, in here, as you can see the team. And this is the, uh, the specific, as you can see here, um, the email. So we are going to have it. This is something that I need to work on because we need some commas at least installed or uh, put in here. So I'm going to head over here. And normally it is going to uh, open up the file. And as you can see, this is uh, downloaded. So that is the automation. Now, let's say that we are not going to give the um, email away. So we are not going to send emails, but we need instead some notification. This is going to be very easy. So the notifications are going to be the internal part of this uh, specific email. Let's say here, um, prevention from due dates and etc. We're going to create an automation 
and this automation is going to be manual click on add automation and from here we are going to select the trigger when this happened so when for example the same thing you can go ahead and have the changes or the status change to something we're going to have the status to for example and here on working on then the action is going to be notify so if you do not see in here type in notify click on here notify we are going to select here um, for example the the assignee hey for example you can go ahead and follow up the uh, as you can see the model in here you need to set up uh, the spaces so it is going to be crucial hey for example we're going to have the assignee i'm going to have a space then we are going to have maybe this one then what are we going to do this is the uh, let's say here a task that you are for example needed in and we are going to have the uh, the uh, comma in here or you can go ahead and have the space so i'm going to have it just like that put a point at the end boom create the automation to someone i forgot about that so we are going to head over here type in people click on assignee or whatever you have named it into the dashboard or the uh, table click on create so it is going to be uh, set up in here now the thing that you need to make sure of is that the team members have their uh, specific notification of the system or the monday.com on so you need to head over the uh, settings and then you're going to make sure that you have the notification so you're going to see the notifications and you can go ahead and head over here you're going to head over here and uh, uh, put on all the notification in and then you are going to also enable the desktop uh, notification just like that for the team and you so basically that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one